Hello mamas to be, welcome to my channel, the best place to practice yoga both on and off your mat for your body, mind, and soul. Today's class is a prenatal legs up the wall practice to feel like the queen that you are. In prenatal circles, it's common to hear legs up the wall called queen's pose, and it's a restorative, regenerative, rejuvenative posture that can really help us care for ourselves, physically, emotionally, energetically, mentally, right? And also so we can spend time connecting with baby as we draw inward and really down regulate and care for our nervous systems now let's talk about props because you will need some we'll start in an upright seated posture and practice one of my favorite mudras that i've been using during my pregnancy journey and then we'll head into legs up the wall you will need two blocks and you will need a bolster additionally i'm going to recommend that you add a blanket for some head and neck support and then if you want to add an eye pillow or anything similar to cover the eyes please bring that as well. So gather your yoga tools, come in comfy clothes. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let's begin this prenatal legs up the wall class together. All right, queen, let's begin this prenatal class together. I'm not gonna lie, it just took me like three minutes to get adjusted here. Lots of huffing and puffing happening at 32 going on 33 weeks. So wherever you're at in your pregnancy journey, we're going to start in an upright seated posture. And you can sit cross-legged, you can sit in easy pose, one ankle stacked in front of the other. Choose what feels best for you. You might also want to sit in a kneeling posture. I'm on the edge of a blanket. Feel free to incorporate a prop too. So as you get comfy and make any of those adjustments, really send the roots down. Let the lower body grow heavy so it can provide you with strength, structure, and stability. And as you feel like, ah, oh, okay, I'm plugging, excuse me, into the earth plane, start to really lift through the side body, bring baby close into the belly, broaden through the shoulders, lift through the crown of the head, chin comes parallel to the earth plane here. And we'll take what's called the tri morti mudra. To do that, thumbs will connect and index fingers will also connect too, creating this triangle-like shape. Turn that upside down and the thumbs will rest right beneath your navel center. Rest of the fingers pointing down towards your groin. And from here, you can roll the shoulders towards the ears and allow them empty to allow them to empty behind you. And invitation to close down your eyes now or softly gaze ahead. As you settle in, start to consciously shape your breath. Smooth, steady, even inhales and exhales. The Trimurti Mudra is the gesture of the Trinity and for honoring life transitions and opportunities. Please continue steadily breathing. As we all know, we are absolutely going through a transition, a rite of passage or initiation we're watching and feeling our bodies go through this metamorphosis as we cultivate a home for this baby to grow within. And so holding this mudra, this hand gesture, the Trimurti mudra to honor life's transitions, we can really bow to and pay homage to what's happening within us and the life force that we will be bringing outside of us.
And we'll layer in a new breath technique so you can keep the eyes closed and simply listen to my cues. You'll inhale as you are already. And exhale to make an F sound. Inhale again. Exhale through the teeth, through the mouth, making a soft, subtle F sound. Inhale to grow tall, lengthen, expand and extend through the spine. And exhale, F breath, reconnect with the earth plane. Gently hug baby to belly, soften, soothe your entire body. Continue breathing like this. Just about another minute here, practicing F breath. This is one taught to me by our doula, and it's one I plan to use during labor. And now you can use it too and add it to your toolkit. And really any time during your pregnancy where you're feeling stimulated, where you're feeling anxious, um, where you're feeling uh, that flight, fright, or freeze sensation, right? That, um, yeah, just that feeling of angst, nervousness, stress. Use this breath, okay? It's extending the exhale which helps connect and bring online our parasympathetic nervous system, which helps us remain calm, centered, neutral, and able to tap into um, those feel-good hormones that we need as we grow baby and as we birth baby too. So about 20 more seconds here, F breath with me. Last round. And very slowly in your own time, open your eyes. You can release the mudra, but remember this one to pull and bring into your practice. It's now in your toolkit. And we'll get set up for legs up the wall. So we want to be about one foot from the wall. Keep that in mind. And you can have your blanket at the ready folded in half to support your head and neck. This is not going to be a graceful entrance. I'm going to forewarn all of us. The back block is on the tallest setting and the second block the descending block is on the middle setting and our bolster gets set up and rests on these two blocks here, okay? All right. And you might take some adjusting once you get in the posture and again, it's not going to be graceful. So let that out, let that go but I will try and get us in as easily as possible. And we're gonna hold here for about five to seven minutes. And again, we want our blanket here for our heads. So the easiest way I know to do this, pregnant or not pregnant, is to come side to side with your wall here, line your hip up, bring your hands down, and you're gonna windmill your legs up nice and high. Okay, so take your time, no rush mamas. And we want the bottom of the bolster coming into the lower back lumbar spine region, all right? So slowly, whew, I have not done this pregnant yet. <laughs> Walk yourself up. And you might realize like, ooh, 
I'm too close. So come out of it as I was and walk the whole prop package back a bit. Okay, I'll try that again. There we go, that's a little bit better for me. Might even need to, there we go, okay. <laughs> All right. Situate your blanket as needed. We want the entire sacrum and the tailbone, so sacrum, tailbone on the ground. Wiggle, move around as much as you need to. Take the legs as wide as you need to to accommodate baby and belly here. And let the shoulders externally rotate, palms face up towards the ceiling. And if you're feeling winded like I am from getting into the pose, let the breath start to smooth out. Let the props fully support you. Let the wall support you. And we'll be here for five minutes together. So having our feet up the wall like this, with the legs above the heart, it assists with the blood flow coming back down towards the heart. It can also reduce swelling, tension. Again, if you're not comfortable, make any adjustments that you need here. Using your breath to really settle into the posture. Imagining that the bolster is your throne. Remembering that we are queens. We hold within ourselves the ability to birth new life, to create this energetic force this Shakti energy, the creatrix energy, we hold all of that within us. We have incredible power in being able to do this. And so we are queens. <laughs> and queens need to be cared for. Allowing yourself to receive here. Each breath you take, see if you can soften, relax, let go, and release a little bit more. Feel free to sigh.
As you rest here, you can repeat this mantra. Balanced at the center of my being, I embrace life's transitions and opportunities. Balanced at the center of my being, I embrace life's transitions as opportunities. Balanced at the center of my being, I embrace life's transitions as opportunities. And our yoga practice is a beautiful tool to return to center, reinstate neutrality, and cultivate that sattvic balanced state so we can embrace life's transitions as opportunities one more minute here balanced at the center of my being I embrace life's transitions as opportunities. And in this final minute, you might try widening the legs. See how that feels. Sometimes I like to place my hands underneath my thighs for support. And if that's messing with your queen-like vibes, readjust. Last three breaths together, knowing that you can stay longer and always return to this posture. Last breath. Sigh out the mouth. Start to bend the knees and roll onto your left side. Take your time. Use your right hand to prop yourself up. Meet me back in a seated posture, please. So remove the props off to the side. Keep any props you need to support your seat. Keep that soft, diffused sense of awareness. Connecting inward with baby. Hands to the belly if that feels resonant for you. And let's take the Trimurti Mudra again. Thumbs connecting beneath the navel, index fingers touching, fingers pointing downwards. Balanced at the center of my being. I embrace life's transitions as opportunities. And holding here for one final minute.
balanced at the center of my being. I embrace life's transitions as opportunities. And sweep the arms out to the sides. Palms touch overhead. Exhale the hands down through heart center. We'll close with an ohm to seal our queen experience here. Inhale. Uh. Open your eyes when you're ready. Thank you for joining me, mamas. That was a short practice. And there's really three tools I want you to remember. Number one, the Trimurti Mudra that honors life transitions. Number two, the F breath. So making that soft, subtle F-like sound on the exhale, really gonna help us lower that, um, that energy and stay in that rest and digest, relaxed state. Also one that my doula taught me for laboring. And lastly, legs up the wall. Has a great way to get the legs above the heart and assist gravity so that blood can flow back down and it can also help with reducing swelling in the feet and ankles. So take these three tools, put them in your prenatal and postpartum toolkits. Thank you so much for joining me and hey, if you want to keep learning with me, download my yoga reset guide. It is a seven step journey through the chakra system that helps you recenter your body, mind, and soul. It includes on the mat yoga asana classes that you might need to save for after baby arrives, energy aligning exercises that have a lot of the mudras and meditations and mantras that so many of us love. Self-reflection journal prompts and mantras and affirmations are also part of the guide too. So to get that in your hands and start working through it, you can click the link in the description below. So now the real world, now, I'm so relaxed, I can't talk. Now the real work begins, right? So we take this energy we've cultivated, this queen-like energy off our mats and into our daily lives. I'll meet you back here and make sure you utilize the other prenatal resources here on my channel too.